Right, so this is the video's home base. Clean, nice, final version, always a great feeling. Factory that has inputs, ideas, and then churns out YouTube videos at the end. Good job. And then you click and magically you have that template applied to the new card. Just a fun project to have at Christmas, you know? Hello, fellow creator. Welcome back to the channel, the best place on YouTube for creator productivity and growth. And today I got a very exciting video for you. I'm gonna show you how I use Notion to plan all my YouTube videos. And that means you'll be able to see behind the scenes as I show you in my computer how I use this amazing app, Notion, to plan, organize, prioritize, and and manage my entire workflow of videos all within one app. This is the exact system that I use to make sure that every week there are three new videos for you guys. If you also use Notion as the app for the workflow of your YouTube videos or maybe as a content calendar for blogging, please drop a comment below saying how you use this tool and if you have any improvements on my system. And so because there are a lot of moving parts, I'm gonna break this video into a few different parts. First, we're gonna talk about what I call the video home base. Then I'm gonna talk about the different views that I use in Notion in my video home base. And then I'm gonna talk about the template that I use for each of the videos that I make. And that's so by using the templates it makes my life so much easier. So feel free to skip ahead if you like, but for now, let's just get started and let's switch to the computer and let's start by talking about the master page, the video's home base. All right, so it all starts here on what I like to call the video home base, which is basically a content calendar with all the ideas in the pipeline, the scripts, the recordings, the videos that need to be edited, and then the videos to be published, and finally, the already published videos. So let's have a look at it. And you'll see here that there are a lot of columns here. So again, ideas, script, review script, ready to film, edit, review, edit, to publish, and then finally, we have published. So you'll see here that at this moment when I'm recording this, this video, I have 45 videos published on my channel. Now, this is what it's called a Kanban board. So the Kanban board comes from agile management. And the most basic Kanban only has three columns, which is to do, doing, and done. Now that will be fine in the beginning, but the YouTube system, the YouTube process of creating new videos is a little bit more complex. So for me, that means there are five stages when creating a new YouTube video. First, we have the idea stage. Then we have the scripting phase. Then we have the recording, the editing, and finally the publishing phase. So let's talk about each one. And let's start with the ideas. So the ideas part is actually when I have an idea popping into my mind, or if I read an article that inspires me, and I think I might be able to create a nice and valuable YouTube video from that. So all these places where I'm collecting ideas are the videos, are the articles, eureka moments that I have in the shower, or those moments when I wake up all sweating and I think this is a great idea for a video. So all of those make it into the idea call. Now, because I have so many ideas, not all of them will be moving through the process. So this is literally step one, where I'm trying to capture everything that's on my mind that I think would be nice for a video. So all those ideas go into their own bucket, which in Notion is called a Notion card. And sometimes I'll just write the idea down and it will stay there for a few weeks or a few months until I thought a little bit about that idea and I now think I'm ready to record that video. While other times I just write random stuff in different cards when I have a few minutes. So for example, I might open this card saying all the apps I use in a day as a creator and then I'll just write random thoughts here at this moment. So for example, I use Readwise a lot. If you watch the video about how I take notes from podcasts, you see that I mentioned that app there. Obviously Notion I use every day, then also Roam and I just keep writing stuff. And then I might come back a few days later and write some more on it. So for example, here on Roam, I could just simply write a few bullets and saying, this is my Zettel casting. All the nodes go into it. Then probably I want to add, why is this so cool? Because I never start writing from a blank page. Right. And so I'll do this for all the cards that are here. And at some point, they might be ready to go to scripting, which is step two. Now in the scripting part, I'm actively writing and trying to finish that card to be ready for filming. So that means I'm trying to write the script in a way that helps me when I need to deliver that into the camera as I'm doing now. In the beginning, I did 100% of the scripting, but because I didn't like that so much, it didn't sound so natural. Nowadays, I'm trying to do a little bit less of scripting. So the videos sound a lot more natural the way that I actually speak, but I'll still write a few bullet points here and there to guide me as I'm recording the video. And then I use those in an iPad in front of me, which you can see here and I have open on it basically this one, which is how I use Notion to plan my YouTube videos. Now, because this is a video that I already know what I'm talking about, I don't need a lot of scripting. So basically what I wrote down here is video home base views in Notion template in Notion, which are basically the sections of this video. And then I just wrote down what I should do. So show the Notion video home base, which is what I'm doing, the YouTube system, which I described before. And then I'm going to explain how the Kanban mimics this. So these are all the notes that comprise of my script. If it's a video a little bit longer, a little bit more detailed, I'll probably write a lot of sub bullets to guide me along the way. So for example, you have here 10 lessons from year 31, you'll see that down here, I wrote a lot of notes for this script. Then when I'm done scripting that video, it goes into ready to film. And this is the part where I'm actually filming the video. So you'll see here how I use Notion to plan my YouTube videos is the first that I have to record today, which is what I'm doing right now. Once I finish that recording, I can move that card. So when I finish this video, I can move that card here into the edit phase and it goes into my editor. And then you're gonna do the first cut. It's gonna come back to me. I'm gonna have a look at it, maybe review. And then when the final version is ready to be published, it will go here into be published. And then finally we'll go live at which point it will go into the published. And yes, we have a new video on the channel. And you'll see that this system that I use in Notion, the Kanban system really mimics the YouTube 
YouTube process. Ideas, script, edit, record, and publish. Now there are a few more steps that I use just because I have other people working with me. So for example, on the review script part of it, that means that I then need to review scripts that other people have written. So in the beginning, my team kind of helped me doing the scripts, but nowadays I do about 95% of my scripting. So most of the times I'll just skip this into the ready to film. The only time where there's a script from me in the review script is if I want another member of my team to actually review my script. Right, and then we also have the review edit, which is when my editor sends me the first cut and I'm gonna comment on a few things maybe that we need to change. And then he's gonna change a few things to make the video a lot better and come back to me with a clean, nice final version that we move into the publish. Now this column to publish didn't exist before, but now I'm trying to do a little bit of a backlog of videos so that I don't feel that pressure of always trying to catch up. You know, when it's Friday and you need to record the video for Monday and you just have to do it. So I always try to have this filled. I took a holiday last week, so there are no videos to publish, but I guess in the next two weeks, it's gonna be like five, six videos, which is the amount that I like to have in the backlog, which is about two weeks worth of content. And then we finally added the new column, which is the no status, the one that you see in the beginning. Now what the cards in the no status mean is that these are nice ideas for videos, but I haven't really thought about them or someone from my team put them here. So I know I got to have a look at them, right? So this is the video's home base. And then inside the video's home base, we have very different views. So let's talk about the views that I use in Notion. All right. So views are what you see here at the top where it says Kanban and this drop down arrow. Now the Kanban actually is one of those views. The default view is actually the table view, which would show all the videos like this. So I created the first view, which is the Kanban, because again, it mimics the YouTube process. And then I use the same view, which is called the calendar view for two different purposes. So the first one is the published videos. So the published videos are all the videos that are already published and live on the channel. And they are organized by a calendar on the date that they were published. So the first ever video that I launched on this channel was on the 3rd of November last year. And if I click on it, you'll see there's all this information inside the card. Now these are called attributes. And what that means, it's organizing all the cards by this attribute, which is the published date. And so if I change the date here to the 5th of November, it's gonna move the card to the 5th of November. Right? So all the attributes that you see here, you can organize the views by different attributes. So what do we have in attributes? We have writer, which is me, the editor, I didn't have one at a time, the status, this is published, the video genre, this was a book license, video intention to be discoverable, series, no series was the first video, expected date, wasn't a thing back then, published date, third, the script, I didn't do a script back then, final version, live URL, analytics, and then video number, which is number one. So by having these attributes, you can use them to organize different views, like I said. And the next one that I use is the next videos, which is again, the same calendar that you see, but now instead of the published videos, it's loading from the expected date. So for example, later today, it's expected of me to publish this video, how I manage my time as a creator, nine time management techniques. And you'll see that here, the expected date is today, the April 20th. And so because this video is gonna go live today, I can come back and go into publish date and say this was published on the 20 expected date and published date are the same which is always a great feeling and i'll see that live on the other view which is the published videos now the campaign though is organized by this tag that you see here on the top so if i open now i use notion to point my youtube videos you'll see that the status here is ready to film now once i finished i can go here and just click edit and that will move the car there you'll see it move it here or I can do that manually. And then I can also fill this other information. So Ilya is my editor. Video genera is a how to Video intention is discoverable. This series is creative productivity. Expected date, I'm not sure actually. So what I can do now is I'm gonna check my next videos lot, and this is probably gonna go live next Monday, I think. So let's go back to the Kanban. Expected date, let's put the 27. And then this is gonna be the video number 49. Close to 50, eh? Good job. And you'll see that that card has been added to next Monday on the next video's calendar. How I use Notion to plan my videos. So yes, that's the entire Kanban flow of things. And it's helpful to think of this as a factory that has inputs, ideas, and then churns out YouTube videos at the end. All the steps in the process are important and it's a matter of keeping a steady flow on your assembly line. So let me know in the comments if you also use a Kanban board in Notion, in another software, or even with sticky notes and the steps that you use to make sure your videos get published. All right, let's talk about individual cards and let's talk about templates in Notion. So if I use the card for this video again, how I use Notion to plan my YouTube videos, apart from the attributes, you'll see there are lots of information within that card. So for example, here we have the title and I like to have a minimum of 10 titles. I only did two for now, but obviously before publishing, I'm gonna do a lot more. Then kind of think of the thumbnail that I wanna use. Then the production checklist, publishing checklist, promotion. Then we kind of have the remix notes, research, the ideas, branding components. And then finally here is the script, which is the intro main value hook and screen 
editing notes. And then there's recording checklist because a few months ago I recorded like three videos and I forgot to put the sound of the microphone. And so I had to record all of those again. So then I did a checklist to make sure that never happens again. Sad. <laughs> And finally, the publishing checklist. Now, this is what it's called a template. So if I open a new card, for example, that doesn't have anything, a day in the life of a creator, I can click here where it says new video template, which is the name that I use for my video templates. And it will automatically generate the same template for this card. So you see, everything was created. And templates are very cool because again, this is kind of a factory, kind of an assembly line. You're going to have to do a lot of the same things. And there's lots of moving parts that you need to remember. One of them is turning on the microphone. Or maybe when you publish, you want to share a new Instagram story. So templates kind of automatically that entire process because you just have to do them once and then you click and magically you have that template applied to the new card. So if you want to create a template for your videos as well, all you have to do is go into this blue button here that says new, click the drop down and click new template. And you see at the top you're saying you're editing a template in videos home base. So let's give it a name, test template. This is a template. Now let's say that I wanted to add, let's add an emoji, happy face. And now that I closed it, you'll see that it appears test template here. So let's go into an empty card. I think this one I inputted yesterday. Yeah, so you'll see new video template and then test template. So if I click test template, you'll see appearing on this notion card, my template. This is a template, happy emoji. And so in the beginning, my template didn't include a lot of things, but with time, I realized that more and more things could be automated as well as using those checklists as reminders or tasks that need to be done. And so over time, it developed into a full on template that I now use for all my videos. So you can go ahead and create a new template for your videos. Don't worry if there's not a lot in it in the beginning, because over time, you're going to realize what you need to add, what you can remove. And it's helpful every couple of weeks to look at your template and see if there are things that need to be added and things that need to be deleted. Because you want to make sure that all the information that is inside your template is something that you're going to actually use. Otherwise, it's just clutter and filling up your cart. And then it's going to take a while to find the information that you're actually looking for. So that's actually something that I need to do this week. And probably I'm going to remove the recording checklist because now I always remember to turn on the microphone. It was that traumatic. And perhaps without even knowing, you already use templates for your videos. So let me know in the comments if you use the template feature in Notion or if you use any other method to make sure that you follow all the same steps when recording a video. In the beginning, I did this with pen and paper. And then at the beginning of this year, I migrated everything into Notion. Just a fun project to have at Christmas, you know? Fun! So that's the way that I use Notion to plan, organize, and manage the workflow of all my YouTube videos. And the great news is that you can use the same workflow for so many different things, not even necessarily YouTube videos. For example, I use the same system to manage the content calendar of my blog, articles, and book summaries, as well as the clips that I publish on social media and the posts that I publish on LinkedIn. It. All you need to figure out is the process, the assembly line for your specific project, and then the columns of your Kanban board are going to mimic that same process. And if you want another VIP access behind the scenes tour of how I make my YouTube videos, I have a video exactly about that. All you need to do is click here to see my full gear and setup tour that I use to record all my YouTube videos. So go ahead, click here to watch the next video, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.